that people like go out your go out their way to insult you that much. I I just have to respect it. Yeah, I... I... the audacity of it, I guess. Yeah, because right? yeah. I remember like obviously fucking growing up skating. I mean, you are a bit of a target for people to yell stuff at you when you're younger. Tell I mean, me, it, it just comes mate. with it. Yeah, but I remember there was one time I was like walking down the road with a skateboard. It was just me on my own. I was probably like eighteen, nineteen. So I was like, I wasn't a kid. And it's fucking van drove past me, and a guy yells out, "You went." Oh, he said that something something you dumb cunt and then like i turned around i saw him laugh and drive away he was the only one in the van like if it, I, was like, I, I was so confused i was like if you're with mates i get it yeah you're kind of like you're taking a piss you're all being a bit rowdy you're being billy big bollocks and shut off yeah. to your mates like like he that saw was, you and just, just like him <laughs> but no one else just to him and i was like that you gave, yeah. him, you gave him a chuckle on the way over right <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know, I know. A friend of mine said, like, it's sort of, sort of similar. But a friend of mine was saying his, his aunt was walking her dog for a park, like, just uh, on the road once, and she had like a little, I don't know, it was like a little Jack Russell. It was like a little, it might have been like a Chihuahua or something. It's like, yeah, like a little dog. And apparently, some bloke in a van just drove past, slowed down, and just went through the window and just went, "Call that a dog?" <laughs> and just drove off. <laughs> <up. laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh man, fair play. Right, this made me think of uh, <laughs> the best thing that someone shared to me was when I was doing my driving lessons. Um, I stole a, a set of lights. This is like one of my first driving lessons. And then the guy drives around me but shouts, learn to drive. <laughs> out of the car. And I kind of was just stumped thinking, I, I am. <laughs> it's <laughs> obvious. It's, 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 I remember we were in your car once. We were going somewhere. And we were in your car and I was in the passenger seat. And some bloke stopped. It was like a T-junction, I think. And we were going straight and he stopped. And then we, like you went to drive forwards and he just pulled out. And then he caught up to us at the next set of lights, all furious and shit. I think he shit himself a little bit because we were all like 18 at the time. And it was like five of us in the car. And, and we fucking pulled up all furious and we all were like... And if you haven't like, and if, if you haven't figured this out by now, we are all very threatening characters. Like we're very, inti- <laughs> yeah, we're obviously. very intimidating, obviously. We are, you know. <laughs> But yeah, he, I wound down the window and he looked me dead in the eye and went, you need to learn how to drive, mate. And I was like, I'm, I'm not driving. <laughs> I, was like, well, I think me and Scott, had, me. I think me and Scott, I'm pretty sure we had the same, the same driving instructor, right? And, um, yeah. and uh, I remember once, I, I can't remember what I did during a lesson. I think I stalled or like, I just, <clears> I, t- I, t- I was a bit slow turning into a lane at some traffic lights or whatever. Some bloke just drove past and he was going like, oh, the, the guys, my instructor was going, like, oh, okay, like, it's okay, like, just talk me through it. This boat drives past on the other side and just goes, teach him properly, mate. And without skipping a beat, the instructor just goes, fuck off. Yeah, so anyway, was, he was like, don't worry about him, don't worry about him. So what you need to do is next time, just, I was just like, <laughs> not the first time he's probably had to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Especially with me in his car, Christ. Yeah. Now, I remember um, I, was, I was driving with Jack one time, just going uh, down to Brentwood. And then there was like this, um, just a car park. You know, like, um, it's like a car park just off of, like an A road. So it's like a fairly busy road. I'm driving down and a guy in a van just pulls straight out in front of me, trying to go into the other lane. But like, he didn't wait until it was clear. So I actually had to like kind of brake check. I honked him going like, what the fuck are you doing? He just looked at me and went, <laughs> <laughs> and, just drove, and just drove away and like me and Jack just burst out laughing so I was like he's completely in the wrong but there's nothing that yeah. like, I can do about <laughs> it <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you, um, do we I don't feel near topic of car stories I think I was with my uh, after we had a 106 so it was one of them uh, the windy down windows oh the OG I remember, car <laughs> I don't remember sitting in the car and <laughs> Obviously, because the window don't go out. That, that, I've, I've, I've just got my car cleaned, and I was sitting there, sitting there at the lights, and I, uh, there's like people on either side. I'm in the middle lane, waiting for the lights to change, and then I just had this mass urge to sneeze. So me thinking my window was open, I did it <laughs> on the window, and then I was just like, "Ah, oh, shit!" Like I was like, me kind of just sprouted over the window. <laughs> So I ran the window down and then went it back up and it just smeared on the other side. And then these people were looking at me on the other side like, good God. I was like, you fucking oh, animal. I can, I, can, I, can, I can almost guarantee you I've got a more embarrassing sneeze story than that. Right? So... <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, I don't I, I, think I, I, Bleach knows one. this. So, all right, picture the scene, right? I was, this is when I'm, I think I was doing my internship or I was like, oh, and I, I was still living at home because I had to go from like, you know, central line all the way into like oh that's north London. So I'm on a busy central line train 
at like half eight, nine a.m. Bit so it's packed, so it's, it's to the point where I'm like up against the door like this and shit. Oh, Remember them, the good old days, right? And um, <laughs> so you know when you like, you know when you sometimes you feel a sneeze coming and it just doesn't come, but you're you're sort of on the edge. You're, you you see you feel yourself starting to like your shoulders tense yeah, and like edging. If you, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. and like very familiar with edging. So that was happening. I was just, I accepted the fact that sneeze was happening. I was like, <clears throat> I've done this before. I'm, I'm well prepared to to handle this situation. Yeah. I don't know. I can't explain this. It's never happened before. It's never happened since. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person in, in the universe this has happened to. I, I've done the first half of the sneeze. So you know when you go to sneeze and you sort of some some, some people go like, Hur-choo, like that. I've done the Hur-. nothing's happened. <laughs> <laughs> so like, and bearing, now, bearing in mind, bearing in mind what makes it worse, I've got the headphones on. So I've got no, I've got no like awareness of how loud I am. So all these people on the tube have just heard this random bloke who's by the doors in the tube just go, just go like. Ah! <laughs> 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 and nothing's happened afterwards. Honestly, I just sort of sat, I just sort of sat there like this with my headphones. I'm just like. <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna i don't think i looked up for the rest of the journey i feel like just literally stay at the floor just like i want to die now please <laughs> yeah true story oh, you're the mental bloke who makes more noises on the train yeah How many uh, people like do you think went home and said got home and were like, i said margaret there was a madman on the train who was screaming <laughs> he said like I said, I didn't get a chance to get a look at the reactions. Like I said, I literally was sat on the floor, hoping to like bank ride to change. I was like mortified.